of the heavens will condemn us for what we've wrought here today. Ah, but morality's lease has run out, and science has been given the keys to the apartment. Ours is not to question the... <laughs> I like you better without it. shaved once since I met you. How could you possibly grow a mustache overnight? Yes. Well, apparently I've been saving it up. Saving? What are you talking about? That's not how it works. Oh, look at it, Arthur. Oh, so silky. So smoothy. Oh, please. Oh, this changes everything. I feel different. Better. A, a new sensation spreading out from my upper lip to every other part of my body. It's a feeling I, I can't quite describe. It's a, it's a savvy kind of feeling. A suave kind of feeling. Kind of a, kind of a mustache feeling. And hip, pointy on the end. Making a new set of friends. Huh. Just that feeling. Looking good. Mustache feelers. Oh, that mustache cat feelers. Ha ha! Of course, definitely a nice mustache. <sighs> Two words, Tick. Chick. Magnet. Oh, hey. That's for all women everywhere. It really is a beautiful mustache, Tick. Okay, fine, Tick. It's a nice mustache. So, like I was saying, the whole situation it, it is fine with me, really. Rugged, self-assured, adult. These are the words that describe the man who wears a mustache. Yes, it says to the world, I'm a man of action. Ah, but action tempered with maturity. Like a, a fireman or somebody's dad. You know, most of your world leaders have mustaches. Oh, anything but this. Hello. Oh, hi, Dot. You're what? No, no, I, I, I'm not upset. It, it just seems so uh, sudden. Well, I think I'll take another look at the mustache. What do you mean, I knew you'd say that? <sighs> Have you told Mom and Dad yet? Uh, it is good, but might be a touch uneven. Tick? Huh? Tick! My sister and Dinosaur Neil got engaged! They're getting married! Oh. Neil's got a mustache! <laughs> oh. Uh-huh! I was playing tricks like tiny round devils. Well, time to go to bed.
Arthur! Arthur! My mustache! My mouth! Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loves your mustache. Go to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Special Agent Jim Rage. I run a top secret operation for a loosely defined, if not non existent, branch of our government. Project Shave. Our mission destroy the mustache. But the beast is wily prey. I couldn't do it alone. I needed three very special ladies. The ladies of Shave. Kitty Sangato, Ninjutsu, Demolitions, Electrolysis. Holly Go Lovely, Kung Fu, Demolitions. She Devil with a Comb. And Crystal, Liberal Arts, Demolitions, Red Hot with a Hair Dryer. Someday, I'll tell her I love her. But not until I get that mustache. And I will! Even if I have to send the sorry Earth to fiery ruin. Sleep, angels. Sleep, special ladies. You'll need your rest. I'm sorry. I didn't sleep well. Tick was making noise all night. Who knows? So listen, Deflator Mouse, can you come to Neil and Dot's engagement party tonight? Yes, it's free. <laughs> Please, I don't want to fight anymore. Can't we just... Can't... Hmm? Huh? What's this? Huh. Tick. A.U. Dame, poor favor. Estoy enamorata, con alguien, cuyo nunca, he con el quito. Uh, this is some kind of gibberish. Mustache, I will not be mocked by you. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, please. I can't read your crazy moon language. <laughs> All right, mustache. That's it! No, 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 Sewer Urchin. It's not here. It's at Neil's. In the suburbs. Well, I'm sure there's a sewer that goes there. I tried to reason with you. I tried to get along, but oh, no. You had to keep pushing, didn't you? You just had to cross that line. I didn't want to have to do this, but you brought it upon yourself. Huh. Cagey little fella. Oh no. Hello, American maid? Hi, listen. Dick, keep it down! I'm on the phone! Oh, no. So, Dodd, I've invited everybody. It, Tick and I will bring the potato salad. Dodd, are you mad at me or something? Well, I told you I'm fine with it. Really, I, I wouldn't bring potato salad if I had a... Arthur! My mustache is touching my brain! What? No, Tick's just talking about his mustache again. Tick, I hope you're cleaning up that mess in there. <laughs> I never knew what guys with mustaches went through. Thanks for helping out with the party, Arthur. You know, Dot, I, 
I'm sorry I was so weird about your engagement at first. Oh, you don't have to explain, Arthur. We understand. Chocolate trilobite? <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> it's Taft! Darn right. Taft, what are you doing here? I live next door. Neil's my neighbor. Feed my cats when I'm away. Feed those kitties. Say, like the new stash, Tick. Uh, Taft, you've got a mustache. Could I uh, ask you a few questions? Sure, baby. Shoot. Okay. <clears throat> Does your uh, mustache ever hurt you? Oh, yeah. Sometimes it catches on my sweater. It gets stuck in the zipper on my jacket. Yes, yes. Or, or like when it grabs a lamp and smacks you in the head with it. Uh, I don't know. Tick's been acting strange. He's fixated on his mustache. He says it moves. He says that it writes him letters. Oh, great. Neil's gonna ask the Tick to be his best man. Oh, well, that'll be nice. No. It cut this personal's ad out of the paper with scissors. It wants to meet this RB on the Dewey Bridge tonight at 10 o'clock. Well, Tick, looks like your mustache has a date in half an hour. Arthur, you gotta help me. It's my mustache. Again with your mustache. This is Neil and Dot's party, Tick, and you haven't even congratulated them yet. But, Arthur... No, Tick, no. Not everything is about your mustache, you know? We're with the government. We want that mustache. <laughs> move or everyone gets hurt. Molly, Kitty, Crystal, spread out! I'm moosing it. Go, Kitty, go! Yank that beast out of the roots! Hey! Oh, not bad. <laughs> you better give me that mustache jump. Sam wants you in my RV. <laughs> What's going on? Who are you people? And how did you know about my mustache? Tick, I'm Special Agent Jim Rage of Project Shave. These are the special ladies of Shave. Does this look familiar? <gasps> my mustache. No, Tick. Not just your mustache. Yours and a thousand other tortured souls. Mexico City, 75. Denver, 78. Helsinki, 82. Tangiers, 83. Your mustache has been around the world and back again, across a thousand faces and a thousand ports of call. I know, because I've been hunting it for 20 long years! What does it want? We don't know what it's after. It was a secret experimental weapon developed by the government. It went rogue in 1974. That's why we were brought in. But why would the government create such an insane weapon? <laughs> you don't understand, man. The Russians were already working on a beard. We had a facial hair gap! <laughs> Uh, funny thing about that mustache, you know, wrote me a letter. Give me that. Hey! It's in Spanish. Tick. Ayúdame, por favor. Estoy enamorado de alguien que no como Tick. Please help me. I am in love with someone I've never met. I have been searching for 20 years. I don't want to hurt anyone. I knew you could survive Project Shave's attacks. They aren't even with the government anymore. They lost their funding in 1986? What? <laughs> 
Hey, that's a personal letter from my mustache to me. <laughs> Propaganda tick. That mustache is an expertly trained bad apple and a liar. Yeah. I think I permanently stretched my lips. Very painful. That's it. No more beauty school tactics. We're switching to conventional weapons. We're not taking any more chances with that mustache. We're gonna blow the whole end off the bridge. No, Special Agent Jim. You said we were serving our country. Jimmy, you've been lying to us. Yeah, and if your funding's cut, then Project Shape doesn't exist. And we don't have to live in this lame RV anymore. E2, Crystal? Wait a minute. Hey, you got both eyes. You're no special agent. You're just some jerk who hates my mustache. Mayday, mayday, mutiny on the RV! No, you can't blow up Stinky! He's not even moving! Hello. You've got nowhere to go, mustache! You've run out of lips! <laughs> 20 years! 20 years! Don't do it, Jim Rage! The Russian beard! Russian beard? Hey, it's RB from the personals! No! Please! Boof! After all this, the mustache can still forgive. Hi. Hey, you know, that looks pretty good on you. Oh, thanks. See ya. Goodbye, mustache. Sorry. Good luck. What are we gonna do now? <sighs> so the mustache was in love. Oh, that's cool. Love is cool. That mustache was cool. But it didn't make me cool. It made sewer urchin swing ten miles by his upper lip. Twelve and a half. Yeah. And look at Jim Rage. He should have been cool. He had a cool eye patch, cool RV, cool gadgets, and he traveled the world with three vivacious, exciting, talented beauticians. That's cool, but he wasn't cool. You know, Arthur, I may have lost my mustache, but I've gained uh... a... <laughs> I haven't gained a thing. That's okay, Tick. I like you better without it. Hey, Arthur, Hogarth Lemley writes, Dear Tick, what would you do if bees took over the world? Egad, Hogarth, when the bees implement their worldwide fascist regime, I will be the first to go down into the honey mines. I will be the first to carry their squirming larvae in my teeth, to smear royal jelly on their chosen queen. And why? Good heavens, on account of the stinging! <laughs> <laughs>